A little entanglement. A little entanglement. <laughs> we can't keep with eye for each other. I'm going to go up on the truck and deal with it wicked. <laughs> it's just a vibe. Like a real vibe. We are powerful. Wag one munchie. Miss munchie. What we tell him? Say? I am a Miss Munchie. Keep on the electric munchie. Miss Munchie. Are you around the thing so much now? You know me I say munchie. Come on munchie. Yell up munchie. Wag one munchie. Aha. Reggaeville family, welcome to another episode of Wagwan Munchi coming to you straight from Reggae in Wolf Festival in southern Germany. And today is a very special day because it is Friday, July 26th, <laughs> and this marks the release day of Nectar of the Gods, the brand new <laughs> album of my special guest on this one, Etana, yeah. is with me. How are you today on this very special day, I'm doing and fantastic. how how did you spend? <coughs> I, I I spend the day like scrolling up and down and posting and talking to different people and hearing their different feedback and views of the album. Um, it's 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 one of those days where I'm like, oh my God, I wonder if, I wonder if, I wonder if, and then eventually, you know, it goes away. <laughs> Is it is it still exciting though? Very exciting. It's so, like so much exciting that um, all you can think about and all I can think about is the album, it, you know, and the different songs on the album. And every time I hear it, I'm like, okay, I hope I remember all the words to the songs, stuff like that. <laughs> Naturally, it is excitement. I mentioned Nectar of the Gods is the title. Mm -hmm. And in mythology, the Nectar of the Gods is a divine beverage that confers immortality mm -hmm. and eternal youth. <laughs> I mean, how fitting is that? Music, what right? is your Nectar of the Gods? Music. Music, Music carries us through um, different um, experiences in life, whether it be good or bad or whatever, you know, whether it be good or what we perceive to be bad, right? Because, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, it just depends on perception and music carries us through it all. Mm -hmm. You know, every struggle, every um, triumph, there is music, no matter where your background, no matter where your religious beliefs, no matter where you come from, you know music. So I believe like music is the nectar of the gods, the God in you and me, uh -huh. you see? You're sharing it with us on the cover. We can see you as an ancient Egyptian queen on a throne <laughs> surrounded by the gold and the treasuries yeah. and queens and female leaders like Cleopatra, Nefertiti and so forth. They still remain some of the most powerful characters in the history of mankind. Yeah. What did you want to embody with your portrayal? Um, my 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 success in music my the, the time share the quality music created um the lives touched along the way and i intend to continue to do that in a positive way you know um i want people to see the royalty in me and in themselves mm -hmm. we are powerful you know and i i want for everyone never to forget that so when they see that image i want them to also think of themselves mm, beautiful yeah. beautiful inspirational words yeah. and cover artwork <laughs> big up you. all the reggae queens out there big up all the queens out there in general um of course they are playing throughout the festivals this weekend as well just like etana she will be at reggae jam tomorrow as well where other fellow queens play as well live <laughs> Every day I see you. 
Wagwan Munchi on the release day of Nectar of the Gods and it starts off right away with a pioneer of Jamaican DJ culture, one of the veterans, <laughs> big youth man himself. Why yeah. did he choose him to, and to incorporate his words on Ja Never Fail? Which is a I wanted a voice that would um, that was powerful enough to help portray the message or to, to relay the message in the song. I wanted a, a voice that come with force and with, with the energy of God in it, you know? And I feel like that's what he has. Yeah, I think him about yeah. like a, a forceful voice with a godlike energy and I love it. And um, so uh, when he came in the studio and then start vibe to the song, you know, you know, is him have a, a certain way of speaking, right? And everybody will go off in a talking like, you know, where him not agree with him, fix it, same time, and him bust out a laugh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he was very, him serious, but at the same time jovial, you know? Um, because there was always a message in everything that he said. And that's what I appreciate most, is him good energy, him aura. And you have a pretty long list of feature guests, all male. And already on a previous album, Pomojo, you had quite a list of African artists that yeah. you featured on, on that one. It was Stone Boy and Waya and Wesley and, and Michael Bondi. And now, <laughs> now you have again two Britons from Ghana, both yeah. Shatawale, Shatawale and, and Samini. And Samini yeah. Why, um, how do you go about picking artists in this abundance of talent that there is on the African continent and what significance does do your African roots have in your music? I mean, you know, I heard um, Berna Boy's mom say something on BET. She said, before you were Americans or wherever you come from, you were Africans. And it's true. And uh, we're all connected, you know. Our ancestors are from the one place. Let's not forget that. So, like, when I collaborate with the African artist um, or anybody from Africa, right now on the continent, living on the continent, right? <laughs> I, um, I feel like I'm a part of me and... Likewise, I'm a part of him. I feel like, you know, we're still connected, though we are, though we live in different places and we call ourselves different things. We're connected, and I don't look at it like, oh, it's some, you know, a, a, a African artist. No, I want a we. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, when you when I record the songs, um, myself, Andre Morris, my other half. And the rest of the team, you know, we said the, the artist here would have sound good, Panawanya. And like Ayakteen was very instrumental in choosing the artist too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I bet enough people never know that. <laughs> yeah. And when, when after I recorded the song, Ayakteen said, yo, you know, say, should I call so and so and so? Them? And then we, you know, so we kind of like bounce the ideas around and then we pick. It was a great pick. Yeah, you check so. out the songs <laughs> one. Set up yourself one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for one song, Don't Give Up, you already released a video as well yeah. that shows you in the streets of Kingston, shows you at Halfway Tree, and it shows the people singing the song with you and singing the lines. Those people that desperately need the message of Don't Give Up, how was it shooting that video and singing the song with them? Wow. Just walking to the streets, through the streets of Half a Tree, um, was the first, sh you know, the first part of the day, and people were like, you know, they, they must be wrong. It. Yeah, they couldn't believe that I was walking in the street, um, <laughs> shooting, <laughs> and they got excited, and everybody started singing and dancing. And I said, Yeah, man, at them sang I will walk here in the street, you know, them sang I will walk here, and you know, it was just a vibe, yeah, like a real vibe, you know. <laughs> Um, so everything you saw was a natural reaction. It wasn't like, say, you know, we had a conversation with these people and we said, oh, we're going to shoot. It was just live raw. Wonderful. So how y how you saw it, it is just how it was. Happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was just live raw recording. Um, the, the, the girls, however, 
um, wanted to share their story. There was a girl who struggled to graduate mm -hmm. from college and she did it all by herself and wanted to let the world know that, hey, I finally did it. And so I incorporated, I heard of the story and incorporated her in the video, you know, to show different aspects of life, different experiences and how fighting through it, working through it, mm -hmm. um, helps us to move forward, mm -hmm. you know, not giving up, not like giving up say. one step at a time. Mm -hmm. And I think it was perfect, you know, um, the raw feed, the raw energy. I love it, uh, and it shows the love that people have for reggae music in Jamaica, mm -hmm. contrary to um, uh, what a lot of people will say. You know, it's just what the people have access to. Mm -hmm. And if every day them keep on the air one set of music, one kind of music, then they're gonna believe that nobody else is making. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, so course. yeah, I think it 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 served its purpose and is continuing to serve its purpose the purpose that I wrote a song for. Mm, definitely. And there is another social commentary song on the album, Inna the Ghetto, featuring Bugle. Ghetto, blessings, blessings forever. Yeah, man. <laughs> but you also, I mean, this is the, the positive um, chorus, but you have also very critical um, verses exactly. warning the ghetto youths, look out, those who bring in the guns, they yeah. must set the prices yeah. and stuff. Um, how did you come up with the lyrics? Did anything specific motivate you? Was it just observing what is going on? As you can hear in the song, it's just all the facts. Mm -hmm. You know, um, even though we put it on an upbeat, we make it rock mm -hmm. and, you know, but I, I tend to do that a lot, you know, like I tend to put some serious, serious, potent lyrics yeah, on absolutely. some tracks that make you rock. So it kind of, you know, but um, it's just the facts. And, 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 and it needs to be heard and not forgotten so we can continue to steer. Come and by now, my grandmother said, our ancestors named the ghetto. Ghetto because it means to get out. So I feel like I have a duty to continue to inspire mm -hmm. people to rise above and get out. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, so while they're in it, the inspiration must come from the song and the lyrics and the music. And we mentioned already you sang part of the song that is the interesting musical turn in the song when it mm. turns to the positive and you say, you know, they get a blessing forever. Uh, yeah, but most, some, of the, some of the most um, successful people, some of the most incredible people rise up out of the garrison. And remember, I know when they put them put our ancestors in the garrison and then build those little communities. Mm -hmm. It was expected that nothing would ever come good. You ever hear them say, it's, it has been said, nothing ever comes good from the ghetto, mm -hmm. right? So it was expected that nothing good would come and they, they were, were expected to stay there because, you know, there's lack of opportunities, lack of every resource that yeah. you can imagine at times, even water. Mm -hmm. So it is expected that they never should come to anything. But um, over time, we have proved them wrong every single time. Mm -hmm. And it will continue to be so. Yes. Great people will always rise up out of the ghetto. Because at the end of the day, it's not where you're at. It's where you want to be. Yeah. And yeah. even despite those circumstances. It's where you want to be. It's not where you're at. So nobody can truly control the mind of another human being they could try but the human mind is powerful that them don't know mm -hmm. it come like them don't realize i'll know because i'm still <laughs> a try <laughs> but we just have to keep moving keep you know moving. yeah, yeah, man, yeah man. but is that also your spirit to always look at the positive to find the positive way into things and and carry that out to the people all motivation? the time no matter what may i got you no matter what I'm going through, even if I'm down, I'm not down for a long time. Because, again, it's not what I'm experiencing. It's what I really want to see. Right? So, no matter the challenges, no matter the struggle, no matter how, I always flip it. And I flip it quick. Because at the end of the day, it's not, like I said, it's not about where I am or what I'm experiencing at this moment. It's about what I want to create, what I want to see. 
keep that spirit man keep the positivity <laughs> yeah but always a laugh people people always say yo you always a laugh why you, why you always a laugh so but my my relatives if you go around relatives in August town them take everything you know Jamaican people take everything I make joke yeah, yeah, yeah. my relatives them them double time that they laugh for everything <laughs> and them laughing at the most br- hey, 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 hey. <laughs> loud and quiet but, but I'm you know we always laughing so I guess I get it from them we just always laugh no matter what you know? hopefully one day I'll get to meet them yeah 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 but you know what made me laugh the most on the on the album um no no about we <laughs> Um, for those who haven't heard the song is get is about let's say a pathetic wannabe competitor right yes. and a pretty so cat it right <laughs> yeah woman where one compete with a wife are the woman were dead a long time yeah. a fear man yeah. and you don't know nothing about the people them history are them band with them about you interject yourself because you want the man mm-hmm. so I'm speaking from the wife or the woman perspective right. so somebody said to me so now on, on Twitter um, this morning on the release day so who are the um, the loose girl we had about it and yeah and I'm a wonder <laughs> so I've had my own share of experience of that you know I'm just going to say um, I'm not left, I'm me not left. Uh-huh. So, you don't know about we. <laughs> right, right. You don't know about we. Yeah. <laughs> so, that, that song is, 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 you know, basically for people in love, relationships, and life as it is. Because other people get, you know, you know like um, in what I'm calling it now, what I'm calling something there where, where Jada and Will did Dana, what I'm calling it. Um, <laughs> what I'm calling something there, when I'm saying I'm getting our uh, in- entanglement, right? Entanglement, that's People. a new word. <laughs> <laughs> People get in our entanglements all the time, you see? Um, because sometimes we just can't keep our eye for each other. I just saw it go. So we just sing about life, you know? Sweet. And a little entanglement. Entanglement. <laughs> If you want to know what we're talking about, you have got to check out Nectar of the Gods. The album is out on all the platforms. And of course, my wonderful guest, Etana, she's presenting that live as well. So if you want to know where she's playing, just check all the dates on Reggaeville. And tomorrow she's going to be playing at Reggae Jump Festival. You can catch her there and also this gentleman right here. with Etana Nectar of the Gods is out. We have spoken so much about the lyrics. I want to say a few words about the music. I think I would say it's classical reggae, but it has some R&B, has some soul vibes. Some, some soul in there, yeah. Yes, and it has some soothing and I'd say some seductive vibes yeah. on Mr. Jones, I would say. Who is Mr. Jones? Oh my God, Mr. Jones is that one man you you thought of that you know you will never have, that you dream of, but you know it now got happen. <laughs> no entanglement. No entanglement. <laughs> so it's like a, a, a wishing to be with or wanting to be with, but knowing that it would never happen. That's why I said we can, um, we could spend a day in the park or something, mm-hmm. you know, gazing at the stars. Um, we could make it last forever. Um, come bring your love to me. But Mr. Jones gambled in business. <laughs> He's just someone I admire, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think everyone have their Mr. or Mrs. Jones. Jones. Yeah. yeah, all of us. Like I said, we can't keep with Aya for each other. Right, right. 
Yeah, so that's what Mr. Jones was about. And then um, the other more seductive one is um, Vibrations with Randy, Randy Valentine. Valentine. Now, I know that babies are going to that song there. It, I, like it, 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 I just see it. Oh, yeah. Somebody yeah. I gotta tell me say, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Jones. I mean, vibrations yeah. with Rand Valentine. Yeah. We was playing it on that day. <laughs> yeah, but you know, um, again, it's life and connections, and even entanglements too. I just, this is just who we are as a people, as it relate to, as it relate to relationship and love and life. It's just who we are. How would you sum up the music on the new album? I mentioned a couple of the genres already. Um, what musicians and what producers also contributed to the piece? How I would sum up the music? I would say um, it is life, it is relationship, it is love, um, and and it's reality, mm. you know. Um, and even in the soulful pieces, like, um, I get the feeling you change. It's one song that I thought to myself, oh, my God, I'm not going to put this one on this album because I just didn't think it fit. But um, after much reasoning yeah. with the old team, yeah. we decided, all right, you know, make the music go which where one, it goes. It? I think it's 13. Change. One of my favorites, you know. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> See? So, the music will always go where it should go. It will find its rightful right. place and its rightful people. I can be like, you know, very judgmental of my own music and be like, oh, I don't think this, just like wrong address. We don't want no trouble. I was like, see, it don't even fit on the ear. You know, like, it no mix, it no, I know really reggae like that. It just no fit. And wrong address became... Yeah. A, a very big song yeah and so it found its its place and yeah. and its rightful people who were drawn to that uh, message and the music at the time yeah. and um it still you know is a powerful song across the world wherever I go same way and um um the the track number 14 sun kissed also one of my favorites by the way <laughs> <laughs> thank you so sun kissed was another one that I was like, mm. I thought you saved the best for last. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's very poetic, and it was a song that I wrote many years. Ago. It was a really, it was really a poem. It was a poem that I turned into a song. Yeah, um, <clears throat> but it was honest, you know, and and I still feel the same way. Mm -hmm. And it's about self love and um loving nature and life you know and i i think that one is one that i was iffy about too and it ended up on the album but then i spoke about you know music and what i believe nectar of the gods is mm -hmm. in the song and it was not until after the song, the album was done, mixed and mastered and everything, you know. I was like, no, take off the talking, take off the talking, leave the song alone, make it stay the way it is. But then th at that time, it was way too late. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, because I remember saying that it wasn't one of the songs that I thought I would add to the album, you know. But um, it was the team's pick. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't want to be like one of them artists that were like, no, you can't do this, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, involve everybody. Um, and like Lamshade, um, Lamshade is the one who um, was, he, the initial track when we first got it was, it was already basically complete. But there were certain elements that I wanted to change in the track. And I did that and he allowed it. You know, so um, Lampshade Music did the track for I won't give up, I won't give in. Young producer mm -hmm. from Jamaica, like in in Lampshade, but I feel no way. I I feel like you're still on your way up, you know. Um, but I love your work. <laughs> <laughs> um, CD Master is another young producer on the way up who did. Then I know about we don't. Him call the rhythm sugar dumpling. Rhythm. He's a DJ mm -hmm. that I've been working with since 2008. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and I love my people. I love the people that I um, started out with. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should go through the journey with them as long mm -hmm. as, you know, we're still, yeah. as, as, as long as the energy is still yeah. connect mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. still right, no? Um, and CD Master is one of them. Very mm -hmm. spiritual, um, humble person, but love music. I love music. Love it, love it, love it. And so uh, we still do shows together on the road and people love it when we interact with each other on the road. And I have this rhythm and I say, yo, but why you sing something? But I know why you do no reggae, no reggae sound panic. Why you do something complete? Why you go dance all? I mean, I say, oh, what you say? <laughs> <laughs> and he must say, yeah, man, talk the things, them man, for the yeah, woman, them, do a woman did, song. And, <laughs> and I let loose. I go up on the track and deal with it, wicked. <laughs> so big up yourself, CD Master. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely fun. Yeah. It carries that spirit and that energy. Yeah, so CD Master um, and Lampshade are, and, and also John FX. John FX, right. as somebody we know for a while too, you know, we met at the Recording Academy. Um, uh, I think it was like a like a, a party, like a celebration for the nominees, and I met John FX there. Um, I probably have met him before once before that, but that's when we really connected, I should say, mm -hmm. and we we're just lucky in from them time until now. So. We're good. John FX and, and I are really cool. And that was it. The rest of it is just me, Andre Morris, and my band from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. The band members like Salah. Um, uh, and the Salah is the drummer. Um, and Busey was the engineer. Even Clive, um, in the background vocals, uh, vocalist Clive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Clive did much of the harmonies, even on Change. Um, for um, Sunkiss, that was just me, but Clive, I know, was very instrumental on the background vocals for Changed. Yeah, we have a big up Clive. <laughs> big up Clive, yeah. yeah. Every, um, every Campbell, my other background vocalist too, did more. Um, Who do you really think you are? Walking around and stealing hearts. Him did the background vocals on that song more. And yeah, so I just work with my own team. So all the music that we spoke about, you can listen to it on this very record right here. A wonderful, messageful, spiritful, yeah, yeah. joyful yeah, it recording. Just full of, it full of different energy, full of different vibe. And um, it have the roots, it have the dance hall, it have the uh, lovers rock like train. Right. Um, uh, that one was uh, done by myself and... John FX, right. more John FX than me, really. <laughs> but done by John FX, um, train. Um, and what else? Uh, the, the Lovers Rock, I say, wait, let's go back over it again. That's all. Roots Reggae, Lovers Rock, um, Soul. soul. <coughs> right? right? I think, I think, I think that is it. Mm, that is it. But these are all sounds coming out of Jamaica coming out of Africa right. yeah bringing you the eternal youth exactly. and immortality immortality music is immortality yeah right. music right. never 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 yeah. dies it will live even after me it will be there for generations right, right. so right. music has to be the nectar of the gods it never dies for this Nectar of the Gods, for this album that is all today, Etana, I wish you all the very best. Thank you. It was such a joy <laughs> speaking to you about the music. Enough love and respect and all the very best for the show tonight as I'm well. Excited. Thank I you. I can't wait. Yeah, mama, can't wait. Boom. See you. <laughs> <laughs>